If you're sick and tired of manually uploading your designs to various different print-on-demand websites, then this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to show you how you can use Flying Upload to automatically publish up to 100 designs per day. And the best thing is that with Flying Upload, you don't actually need to know how to use spreadsheets, which is often a requirement with upload automation, and you can also test their software totally for free. So to get started, you can either sign up to the free version here or buy one of the paid for bundles then you'll be asked to create an account you just have to enter your name email and a password and once you've logged into your account just dismiss this window and then head over to the upload tool section where you get a quick installation guide video and you'll have to either click this button right here if you're on Windows or this one for Apple users to download the installation files for the upload tool so this is the first page you'll see if you open up the tool on your desktop and if you're not logged in then you might need to enter your email, password and license keys here. What I'm going to talk about today is the print on demand upload tool. There is many more areas to flying upload. There's also an online listing editor which you can use in combination with this tool. I'll make a video about that separately in the future because there's quite a lot of different things to cover. So first of all what's important to note is that there's two different sides to the tool. So you've got the edit side where you will drag and drop your designs into this sidebar right here and then you can fill out title description and tags and a few other settings. Once you're basically ready preparing your designs for upload you can hit this back arrow in the top left corner and then head over to upload where you can see all of the different marketplaces that flying upload supports. There's 14 here in this row, but Printful actually links to Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, and eBay. So you've got four massive opportunities right here if you're uploading to Printful as well. And yeah, that's just one of the main benefits of using a tool like this. You get access to all of these and you don't have to do any uploads manually. Heading back with the blue back arrow to the edit window, this is where you're going to start your workflow. And basically what I've got prepared right here are some teaching designs that I'm just all going to select and then drag and drop them into this tool on the left hand side you want to drop them in there i want to create these listings and fill them with keywords that uh, someone might be looking for if they're looking for a teaching shirt so uh, let's start off with the tags that's always a good place to start so let's say um, teacher teaching teach and if you're running out of ideas you could use for example the red bubble free tag generator uh, which will be linked down below or Flying Uploads Pro version also has keyword suggestions. So if I copy our main keyword, teacher, and click on this keywords button right here, it will load up related keywords. So you've got short ones right here and then long tailed keywords as well. All you have to do to add them to a list is just click on them. Obviously you want to make sure they're somewhat related. So preschool, first day, funny teacher quote. You get the idea. You just want to look through this and add related keywords. And then once you're done, you can hit save and it will add them to our tags list down here. Then you want to fill out the rest of the listing data. I'm just going to quickly browse through this. I won't like spend proper time writing a listing because that's not what the video is about. It's, it's not a perfect listing, but you get the gist. And then next up, I'm going to select the type down here. And because this design is suitable for men, women, and youth, I'll just tick all of those boxes. If you have a design that, for example, has alcohol on there or profanity, then you might want to untick the youth option so that during the upload, your design won't be published on children's clothing. And then also you have to configure the color. The default is black, which works in our case. But sometimes if you have a dark design, you might want to change this to white. And then we've done most of the steps that we need to do for this listing. You also have trademark check buttons down here. So you can check for trademarks with in-flying upload. I'm not going to go through these right now because that's a big topic on its own, but I did make a separate video about trademarks and copyright if you are interested in that. Yeah, so the next step I would take is head to features, click bulk copy, and then just hit okay. And what that will do is it will overwrite all of the designs and copy the first listing data onto the other ones. So hit yes, and now all of these designs have the same title, description, and tags. We will change that, I won't upload them all with this exact same title but that's going to save us some time 
creating those listings. One more thing to note here is that if you want to upload to Amazon, which I personally don't do just because I want to stay in full control over my Merch by Amazon uploads, in case that the design gets rejected, I want to see it and be able to stop uploading straight away. That's just a personal choice. Most people who use Flying Upload probably upload to Merch by Amazon as well with it. It works completely fine. So if you're uploading to Merch by Amazon, you click this little window down here and it'll open the Merch by Amazon configuration. You first of all have to choose the product that you want to upload to. So let's do standard t-shirt. It will load up different marketplaces that you have to tick depending on where you want to upload to. And you can change the price down here as well. It will have the lowest possible price by default, but well, you can obviously change this. And then you can configure the colors down here. You just have to also consider the bullet points. So you might want to copy a description into these bullet points right here. Then if you want other products to also be enabled, you have to go back up here to product change that to premium t-shirt for example and enable it change the price change the colors which does seem like a long process but you would only have to do this once and i'll demonstrate how so let's say you've gone through and you've configured all of these products that you want to be uploading to. Once you've finished, you just hit save and then you can change your configuration as a profile. To do that, hit profiles up here, hover over the profile manager and then click save as profile. And now if we move on to the next design and open the Amazon window, you can see none of these products have been configured yet. But if you go over to profiles up here, you can select be awesome today and it will copy all those settings over so you don't have to do that every time and the last thing I would do is just go through these designs and change the title around so it's not the same in every design so you could do teaching gift for women teacher and I know it's not a great title but get the gist just go through this you could also obviously allude to the design so before school teachers students gift in some cases you might also find that if you for example have coffee included in this design you might want to add this to the tags down here so put coffee or maybe caffeine as well you also have the option to shuffle your tags go to features shuffle all tags and as you can see now they alternate from design to design that way your listings are once again a bit more unique and once you're done with all of your listings you'll have to configure some settings before you can hit upload. This sounds like it all takes very, very long, but trust me, once you've set this up initially, you've spent a day just setting some of these things up. The next day, it will be very easy and straightforward. You'll spend like 10, 15 minutes a day creating these listings, and then the upload part will be all up to flying upload, and you don't have to do any of that yourself. So what you have to do is click on options and then go into this settings. Here you can change the appearance as well, by the way, yours might be in light mode. So if you want it to be dark like mine, click that. The important part is the templates section. Over here, you have various different platforms where you need to do some extra configurations for the upload to work. I'll give you an example with Spreadshirt. On Spreadshirt, if you've ever uploaded to the platform, you will know that you can configure templates, you select which products to include, which colors to select. You do that once, it takes you like five or 10 minutes to go through everything and select it, and then you can save those as templates on the actual Spreadshirt website, and you have to copy the name of the template and paste pasted into Flying Upload right here. Because during the upload process, what Flying Upload will do is they will select those templates so that all the products and configurations in terms of color and sizing are exactly as you want them to be. The way this corresponds with the actual editor is uh, in our case with the teaching designs, we've got all of these fields ticked. So it will read from men, women, youth, and it will figure out, oh, I have to select the black template while uploading to Spreadshirt. The same goes for white if you're uploading designs onto white t-shirts you would need to configure new templates on Spreadshirt and then paste them into here. Other marketplaces do definitely have easier configurations so Society6 for example here all you have to do is just decide which products to upload to so you can untick certain product categories. You have to spend a bit of time unfortunately to go through these and configure these settings but you only have to do it once. After that you literally never have to touch this again. Um, you have to obviously hit save for all of these template settings to be carried over but yeah once you're done with 
of that, you can then go back through the blue arrow up here, head back to upload, where now, as we can see, all of these designs are loaded on the left hand side as well. If you ever have this section empty, all you have to do is go back to your folder, select everything in it, including these XML files, which have our data saved, draw them over, and they'll be ready to start an upload process. So I'll show you an example with Society6. If I start upload right there, it will load up Society6 and in this case, I'm currently logged out and that would be the same for you if you're just starting out and then you'll get a notice right here login page was opened, please log in and then hit OK. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on Society6. I'll type in my email and password. And once you're logged in, head back to Flying Upload and click OK. And now it's going to start uploading our teaching designs in the background. So right here, you can see Society6's uploader. It will enable all the different products and make sure the placement is correct on all of them and then it will also fill out the tags description and title over here and then publish on its own um, you can do whatever you want while this is running create some designs you could do research or just go away from the pc watch some netflix whatever you want really and you can also have multiple uploads running at the same time so i could now also start spreadshirt for example so here you can see both of the windows open at the same time Spreadshirt is just selecting the template that I was talking about earlier. Society6 is currently configuring some products and how the design is placed on them. And now you can see Spreadshirt, same time, typing in the actual listing data that we provided. I've just shown you the basics of what you can do with this. And there's a lot more features and functionality to it. It is literally stuff that you just learn over time and you don't have to use all of the features anyway. Just find out your own workflow and see what works best for you. So another thing you might be wondering is how do the different subscription models work for Flying Upload? What are the differences between them and what can I get with the free version? The free version, just sign up right here you can download the tool and you can test it out. I think you get a limited amount of uploads every month, but it's a great way to just get used to flying upload and learn how it works before you actually spend any money. I did it to begin with, and I recommend you do the same if you're interested in upload automation. Then you have different options right here. I'm going to focus on the upload POD tool. That's what I talked about today. You have advanced and you have pro. I showed you the pro version. That's what I use just to explain this. The advanced one, the cheaper option, if we scroll down right here, it includes all of the features except the keywords tool, but you don't necessarily need that. You can find keywords elsewhere if you wanted to, but here is the main important part in my opinion, which is the included print on demand platform. So with the advanced version, you get Merge by Amazon, Redbubble and Spreadshirt, which are great marketplaces. All of them are perfect for beginners, in my opinion, or a great way to start your print on demand business. That's the advanced version. If you click pro, then you literally have access to all of these. You also obviously get the, the keywords tool right here. Another thing you can do right here to save money is use my coupon code. It's Philip Anders 20 and it will save you 20% off your purchase. I personally use the annual version because then the discounts usually have a lot more effect. It's overall cheaper than the monthly subscription, but obviously if you're starting out, you might want to try it monthly. You can also get a beginner version actually, which I nearly forgot, but there you just select one platform of your choice. So if you wanted to upload to TeePublic, you get that option, a lot cheaper per month, but you can't upload to anything else besides the platform that you select here. And you also, this is very important, get a 14 day money back guarantee. If you're testing this out and after a week you've decided, no, I don't don't like flying upload it's too confusing or I'd rather upload manually you can get your money back uh, without any fees or without any questions asked so that's definitely very reassuring the links obviously will be down below to flying upload I definitely recommend it it saved me countless hours in the past it's made me extra money through platforms I would have never uploaded to or I wouldn't have even known about in many cases so it's definitely worth the money that's my opinion I'll make a review in future as well where I talk more about the pros and cons of flying upload but this tutorial was hopefully a good starting point for anyone who's interested in this and who wants to learn how to upload quickly if you have questions because i know this is a topic that especially for beginners can be very sort of intimidating because the tools look very confusing then just leave your questions down below i'll do my best to answer them 
and there's also a Discord channel for Flying Upload where you can speak to their support team or you can ask other people who use the tool if you're getting stuck and you usually get responses. Within a few minutes, the support team is very friendly, very quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like saving time and using automation tools, then you might want to watch this video next where I show you how to create a thousand designs in a single day. Thank you.